originally the video was going to be about a reason to play TF2, uh, what TF2 can implement, you know, battle pass, this, that, and the whatnot to get people to actually play the game and give people a reason to play, you know, give them rewards or give them some kind of unlocks or whatever. And then it devolved into me realizing that the only way anything will actually get done and the only way Valve will even look this game's way instead of seeing it as just a free money generator is basically by what I'm going to get into. I always thought it was dumb. I think I even made a video on it. It's probably private now, but the, like, the save TF2 thing, I get it. That would work for any other game if it wasn't TF2. Genuinely, I feel like that would work for any other game. Any other studio would be like, holy shit, okay, or like our games and, the, and, the, and like these articles and news sites are talking about it. Like, okay, like maybe we should actually fix our game. It's like, no. And Va Valve tweeted, they made one tweet and nothing came of it. I said it myself when the moment the tweet was, I think I made a video on it. I was like, hey, Valve tweeted, they don't give a shit. They're not going to do it. What? They're, okay, we're going to look into the bot problem. Like, they've been looking into the bot problem, probably. Why wouldn't they have been? It's like, the VAC, VAC 1, VAC is kind of dog shit. Save TF2. It, t, 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 there, what is there to save? The game, like, the game was dead before the bots infiltrated it, you know? The bots were just the icing on the cake, you know? They, they were the cherry on top, honestly. I saved TF2 was the cherry on top, but literally the only thing keeping this game alive is the money you spend on it uh again like and people might say well if we keep playing the game it's gonna it's you know they're uh they're gonna do something about it or whatever you know it's like oh even because uh, i know i'll shoot this idea down because i know somebody's gonna say or at least think to themselves well if we stop spending money people are still going to be playing the game so that still gives them a reason to uh, not do anything because people are still playing it. But that's the thing. It doesn't matter if people are playing it. It's the money. That's all they care about at this point is the money. Everybody knows it. That's why they only release cases for the f***ing game. It's because they only care about the money at this point. They don't care about the game itself. They only care about the money it generates. That's why they only release cases for the game. It's that simple. If nobody spends money... And the game has fit. The game could be ha average 50,000 real players. I'm talking real players a day, 50,000 players a day. And if it's making a hundred dollars a month, Valve's going to be like, holy shit, we need to do something to get people to spend money. Here's a new case. No, 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 that that's not going to change our minds. We're not still not going to spend money. Okay. We're, well, we got to do something. And then they'll actually work on the game or do something or they'll kill it, which good. Put it out of its misery because if the only thing holding this game together is literally microtransactions, then I don't want to be a part of it, you know, and I get it. That holds together a lot of games and whatnot, but like TF2 has no structural support. The entire foundation of TF2, all microtransactions. All right. So really quickly, instead of typing it out, I'm just going to say it real quick. What I mean by microtransactions is TF2 only has cases and man versus machine whereas other games will have a battle pass or call of duty has its unlock system and leveling up gets you unlocks and unlocks new weapons for you and then to unlock attachments for weapons you have to level up the weapons and whatnot you know you have a reason to play uh tf2 gives you no reason to play I, I cut that out because you know i'm only showing the end of the video but what i was talking about before is tf2 doesn't give a reason and uh really the only real reason uh, that makes you want to play TF2, at least to me, is Man vs. Machine. And it's only Valve's Man vs. Machine because when you spend a ticket and you do a tour, you have a chance at getting an item. And it's not just the item. It's not just the gambling factor that's enjoyable. The game mode is fun itself. The gameplay is fun. It's just having that item or that thing, that, you know, that reward that I get at the end of it is satisfying. The reward is satisfying. The problem with TF2 is there's no reward or any type of earning or unlock or just making you feel like you're progressing towards something it just there's there's none of that that's what i'm basically trying to get into the only really thing that it has is man versus machine and again like i said you have to spend money on the tickets you could play the community man versus machine 
but it's just like the rest of the game at that point where there's no real reason to, uh, I, unless you're bored or you want to play it. But again, uh, on the valve perspective, not, you know, the community perspective, one, not the valve perspective. And then you might say, okay, well, we won't be able to play the game if they shut down the servers, but that's the thing. We have community servers. So even if valve made it, so you can't play casual, you can play community server any day of the week. It's the same for Counter-Strike, Source, you know, any of their, any old Valve game you can easily just play Community Server on, you know, Battlefield, you know, any other game. I mean, why even talk about this if, if I know that it's not going to change anything and this can get, a this video can get a billion views and I guarantee that microtransa microtransaction sales or any type of money generated from tf2 would probably i mean if it got a billion views it'd probably drop to a certain extent if a lot of people agreed with it and were like yeah i'll go through with that but they would still be making enough money off the game to not give a shit and only release cases so uh yeah i guess to put it shortly if you want to see something actually done about tf2 just anything e even them announcing that they're fully done working on the game Stop spending money on it. So, uh, something's going to happen. If if people literally spend no money on the game and they, if they lose 99% of their profits from the game, they're going to do something. They will say or do something. It might not be something good, and I don't really give a shit because they're not doing anything good for the game to begin with. So uh, from what I would say to you is if you want them to do something, probably don't spend money on the game. And the best way to spread that message is literally just talk about it. Yeah, I, you don't have to send this peop video to people. I don't give it. I don't give a shit. Just you get in a Discord call with your buddies and be like, okay, nobody spend money on the game. To put, it, it, one, you're saving money, so that should be uh, that's a benefit to you. And two, uh, if spending money on the game was making you play it, well, now you have an outlet to look for other games to play, and now you have money to spend on other games. Isn't that wonderful? At least that's my thought process to how anything will get done with the game. Because clearly T Save TF2 didn't do anything. So to me, the only the only solution is they would have to be they would have to stop making money from the game for them to actually do anything about T Team Fortress in general. Uh yeah, that's all I have to talk about.